Aloha. Today we are blessed to have Kui with us. He is a Hawaiian Studies master and also a teacher at Kamehameha School's Maui campus. Kui, please give us your thoughts on what an ahupua'a really is. Ahupua'a is it's really a complex uh, system of land division. Uh, ahupua'a is part of the moku system. The moku system is a direct result of Kamehameha um, in his, his unification of the islands. So that's why we're called Hawaii, because Hawaii Island took over the rest of the islands. So we are now known as Hawaiian. If Maui took over all the islands, we'd be Maui. Right? So Hawaii Island took over the rest of the islands and Kamehameha's system of land division kind of got put on to all the other islands. So before Kamehameha, there was we Maui had their own land division, and after Kamehameha, we adopted the moku system. So here on Maui, there are twelve different moku, and within each moku, we have uh, many ahupua'a. And if we look at ahupua'a, most of them, not all of them, most of them run from Mauka to Makai. Some of them fall short of reaching all the way to the top of the peak or to the mountain. Some of them fall short of reaching all the way into the ocean. Now, if we think about that general system of land division, Ahupua'a generally is that vertical um, land division, right? So it follows the rivers, it follows the resources, and it doesn't just stop at the seashore. Ahupua'a runs continuously into the ocean. So it's important to, to understand why those land divisions were made, what resources were available in that Ahupua'a. Um, most of the ahupua'a were divided into valleys. Most of the ahupua'a followed rivers. Um, here in Wailuku, we have four different ahupua'a. We have Waikapu, Wailuku, Waiehu, and uh, Waihe'e. And each ahupua'a has its own river. Those rivers ran from mountain to the ocean. And everything, it's like a ripple effect. Everything is dependent on everything. You take one puzzle piece out of the system, the whole system is broken. You take that water out of the system, it trickles down. It affects everybody in that system. So for an ahupua'a, it's, it's, really, it's really complex. In simplicity, it's a land division. But the importance of it is really complex. What is necessary to maintain the ecosystem, the environment of the ahupua'a? It's everything in the ahupua'a, people resources. Everything is important to the Ahupua. So would you say that Ahupua was a self-sustaining supermarket for Hawaiian natives? Hawaiians were 100% self-sustainable. We, we traded um, with those who lived uplands. We traded with those who lived in the, the, the sea, the seaside. Fishermen traded with farmers and everybody had a, a, a bit of everything. Uh, it's kind of blandly eating kalo or wala all day, right? We want some fish to kind of put in that relish. So whatever you took care of, whatever you could produce, you would trade with the neighboring ahupua, the neighboring moku, whatever you could. 100% self-sustainable. Now, with um, not all ahupua are created equal, right? If we look at the drier sides of the islands, there's not much water. So what produce, what was productive, on those sides, possibly sweet potato, um, dry land kalo and whatnot. If you move to the wet side, you have wetland kalo, you have more fisheries and more things. Of course, that trade happened within the system. Now, if you look at the moku system and ahupua'a within a community, and what I mean about 100% self-sustainable, sustainable communities, we could take care of our own. We, we didn't need imports. We, we really didn't need it. Now, if you take those elements away and we are no longer able to provide food for our own people, take care of our own community, who do we then look to? In our current situation, we, we are heavily dependent on, on imports. Um, and we've seen it with you know, hurricanes and whatnot, when the boats stopped coming. Actually, when um, I think it was a few years ago, um, there was a hurricane you know, threat and um, the shelves in the stores were just empty with bread and milk and eggs. You know, what happens when those imports stop? What can we do? If we bring back the old 
understanding of land resource management, sharing the resources, taking care of one another, we wouldn't have to be so dependent on those imports. Things like this, natural disasters happen, we can take care of our own. We can take care of our own people and make sure our people are fed. Um, recently with this COVID-19, this coronavirus, people have stepped up providing food for other people, making food, um, donating food, sharing clothes, sharing things, and that is a kuleana of the people, is taking care of one another, making sure everybody is safe and is fed. The Ahupua'a system worked so well in the beginning. What changed? The reality of the Ahupua'a system nowadays, in modern times, we, we all need money to survive. And that is kind of where these problems occurred. We, we didn't look at money as a way of survival, um, necessary things, you know, way of life. We depended on the land and we depended on the fruits of our labor. Whatever we could produce and provide for our families, that's what we got. We depended on each other. This, this ohana belief, this laulima, this cooperative ohana. We definitely depended on each other to take care of each other. Now, when money came into play, we started to uh, think about these desires, these wants, not necessarily needs, but these wants, things that we wanted, um, these luxuries. And we moved into this, this system where we're not fully um, related or connected to what is necessary anymore. We're not fully invested into producing the necessary things to live. So if we look at our modern day society and if we took a step back and we just, you know, realized or kind of pictured of what, what do we need? What is important? I used to work on Kaho Olave and I, I took uh, a lot of volunteers off to that island. And that island, there's nothing. There's, there's no water, um, at least no running water, no resources. You know, we had to bring everything. And historically, Ahupua or Kaho'olawe is an Ahupua. The entire island is an Ahupua, dependent on the moku of Honoula. So Kaho'olawe depended on that tree from Maui to Kaho'olawe. Now, when I spoke on Kaho'olawe, when I took these volunteers out, I would tell them that what is necessary for us to survive in this desolate land? What is necessary? Ohana is necessary. Making sure we take care of each other. Food is definitely necessary. Water is necessary. Where do we get it? How do we get it? And it took a lot for people to take a step back and say, we don't need all these luxuries. It's, it's nice to have. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But it's not necessary. What is important? food, water, ohana, of course shelter. And, you know, when we experience those things, when we don't have those luxuries, we don't have those necessary, or we don't have those, those modern day, um, I call them, uh, what are they called? Interferences or <laughs> distractions, modern day distractions. If we look at what is necessary, it's, it's a lot easier for us to connect to the land and to each other. To the resources, to what's important. Um, so if people come here, our malihin, you know, Hawaii, we, we, we did have, we do have this kuleana to take care of our malihin. We have this kama'aina malihini relationship. Now, kama'aina, a child of the land, literally, this those who are born of the land, we know our land, we are connected to our land, we want to give the best to our malihini. Malihini have kuleana too. And malihini is not to come and maha'oi, not to come and um, tell the Kama'aina, this is how you should do it. Kama'aina know. We, the Kama'aina know their place. They know their land. And we want to provide for our Malihini to give them the best experience we possibly can. Now, <clears throat> our Kuleana is Kama'aina is to educate our Malihini. To, to share our understanding, our belief, our um, relationship with the land in hopes to, to get them interested into becoming kama'aina or becoming familiar with the land and respecting the land just like us. And if they go home and they take our knowledge, they apply it at home as well. Here in Hawaii, we have this, this, this system of 
it's, it's related, it's, it's ohana. We have this relationship to the land, we take care of the land, and I truly believe that the ahupua'a system, our kuleana to the land, can actually save the world. I believe it. Our relationship to the land can save the world. Around the world, indigenous people are tendering their land and protecting their land. This is their history, and this is our history. We're all related to the land. I'd like to say mahalo nui loa to Kui for joining us, and may we live with aloha each and every day.